Hey friends, it's Melissa here with Snugglebugs. I am a mama of two little boys, both in a Britax car seat. So today I am so excited to be reviewing the all new Britax Poplar convertible car seat with you. We are going to be going through all of the key specs of this seat. We're gonna be showing you an install and we're going to be explaining some of the differences between the Canadian and the US seat because the Canadian seat is different. So stick around to learn all about it. I am so excited to be doing this car seat review today because this is the all new Britax Poplar convertible car seat. It is taking all of our favorites from the Boulevard, the Marathon and the Advocate platforms and combining them all into this brand new platform. Now, this is a convertible car seat, which means it can be used in rear facing and forward facing mode. In rear facing, you're going to use this seat from five to 40 pounds. And in forward facing mode, you'll use the seat up to 65 pounds. Now this seat has a space saving design. It is only 17 inches wide, which is really incredible for families who are looking to fit three across, or if you have a smaller, more compact vehicle. Now let's talk about some of the incredible safety features that Britax has built into this seat because the Britax name is definitely synonymous with car seat safety. So first of all, we've got at the back, we've got our V-shaped tether. So you use a tether when installing a seat in forward facing mode. It helps to secure your car seat to the vehicle seat. Now with this V-shaped tether, they've got this patented stitching that actually releases at a slower rate to reduce forward momentum of the seat in a collision and absorb that energy. In the base, you've also got this safe cell technology and the seat is made with a still core frame. One of my favorite Britax safety features is actually in their ClickTight technology. So ClickTight is all about installation and Britax wants to ensure that they make the install as easy as possible on their car seats. So if you see in the base here, we're just gonna flip up this cushion. You've got access to our ClickTight installation door and we can install this in rear and forward facing mode and with a latch system to get a really great fit in your vehicle. Some of the other things that I love about this seat. Now it comes with an infant insert that can be used up to 22 pounds and has some really great labeling on it. You've also got two cup holders that are removable and can easily be thrown in the dishwasher. Plus you've got your anti-rebound bar to be used in rear facing mode. Now let's talk for a minute about some of the differences between the Poplar and the Poplar S seat. So the Poplar S seat is going to come with an additional um, cushion and it's also going to come with just some more contrast stitching. So your stitching will be a different color than the fabric if you're looking for that cool um, design aesthetic. The Poplar S also comes when in an all black fashion instead of being a two-tone. So if you're looking for that option, Poplar S is your jam. I also want to mention some of the differences between the Poplar seat in Canada versus the US because there actually are some pretty key differences. In Canada, your Poplar seat comes with an anti-rebound bar, whereas in the US, the anti-rebound bar is only included with a Poplar S seat. So if you're in your research phase and you're poking around for more intel, definitely uh, as you're watching videos, keep in mind if you're looking at a US or Canadian based content because the Canadian seat is different. In addition to the anti-rebound bar, the rear facing weight maximum is also different in the US. So in Canada, it's five to 40 pounds in rear facing. I believe in the US, it's five to 50 pounds. So something to keep in mind as you're doing your research. Now let's head out to our car and do an install of this seat in rear facing and forward facing mode. So we are ready to install our Poplar. This is in rear facing mode. We've got our anti-rebound panel on for rear facing mode install. And we're going to make sure that we pre-adjust the recline position of the seat. You can see we've got bubble level indicators here that denote the proper placement for rear and forward facing. 
So now that we are ready to install, we're going to position the seat on your vehicle seat, and then we're going to pinch open our click tight door here, pulling up to reveal the rear facing belt pack, which you can see in blue here. We're going to pull our lap and shoulder belt together, giving ourselves lots of slack and feed those through the rear facing belt path. So we've got one side, then the other clicking into our vehicle seatbelt. And now we're just going to remove any excess slack and then we're going to close our click tight door. You're gonna to wanna to give it a good slam to make sure that you hear that audible click. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so now we will just put the elastics back on the bottom of our seat and we are ready to go in rear facing mode. As you can see, I've got no movement in this seat whatsoever. Ideally, you wanna have less than one inch of movement from side to side um, after you've installed your seat, but this is quite secure. So now let's move into a forward facing install all right, now a couple of adjustments that we need to make to our seat in order to get into proper rear or forward facing mode. First, we're going to now adjust the recline of the seat to be in that um, bubble level indicator for forward facing. We're also going to open up our click tight door to be able to uninstall our anti rebound bar. This needs to come off when you move your seat into forward facing. Make sure you store it in a safe place so that it does not get lost. And lastly, before we install the seat, we'll also want to unhook our tether from the back of the seat here. And you'll wanna make sure that you kind of pull that up and above the seat to install it after you've completed the rest of the seat install. So we're ready to install in forward facing. I've already got my click tight door open. And now this time we're going to be using the green forward facing belt path for that install. So we'll again feed our lap and shoulder belt through. One of the nice changes that Britex made on the Poplar convertible car seat is that they've made these belt paths slightly wider. So they're just that much easier to get your seat belt and lap and shoulder belt through which is a really nice um, user-friendly update. And then we're again just going to remove any excess slack. Then I will close my click tight door. There we go. So now I've heard the click and I'm installed. And then we are good to go in forward facing, but I still do need to install this V-shaped tether to the back of my seat. So I'm just going to give myself some extra slack here. And then you will have an anchor on your vehicle seat that this will attach into. So you will get that set up. If you need to remove the headrest in order to access that point, then that is a great option to do so. And that is the install of the Britax Poplar in forward facing mode. And there you have it, the Britax Poplar convertible car seat. Let us know in the comments, are you going to be picking this one up? Now, if you are still in your research journey for the perfect convertible car seat for your family, don't forget to check out our best of convertible car seats roundup or our comparison videos where we compare all of the top models of convertible car seats to help you pick the right seat and best seat for you. We also have a popular versus one for life. So if you're debating between those Britax seats, check out that video. At the end of the day, our goal at Snugglebugs is to instill confidence in families navigating the early stages of parenthood. And a big way that we do that is through car seat education. So I hope that this video has been valuable for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you on the next one.